Hello, I am Joe Seckel. I'm a principal server architect here in uh, Dell Server and a uh, distinguished engineer. And I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about our uh, architectural product that, uh, that uh, our architectural code name, I should say, is, is Zeus and it is known as Powered C8000. And I wanted to uh, talk, provide some insight as to what drove us to this particular architecture. Uh, one thing to note is the linkage between PowerHC and DCS. Uh, we, we go off and solve specific customer problems with, uh, with the custom DCS business and then we take what we've learned in DCS uh, from a best of breed standpoint and apply that to uh, a broader audience and customer base with uh, which are PowerHC products. So the uh, kind of big brother, if you will, to Zeus was a product in DCS uh, codenamed Scorpion. Uh, Scorpion was a response to customers that were continually pushing us to, uh, to uh, maintain or improve uh, density at a rack level. Uh, customers were, at, uh, were, were providing um, uh, power circuits of, of higher uh, capacity and they were concerned that uh, with, without reasonable density they were going to strand power uh, at the rack level. Um, as well, customers were becoming very intrigued and interested in our overall shared infrastructure concept, which fundamentally says uh, figure out how to take the uh, tax or burden, if you will, of power, cooling, and, and system management, and as opposed to having those things burden uh, at a node level, how to amortize that burden across multiple uh, nodes, or in this case, SLEDs. And, um, and then also customers were still looking for uh, kind of flexibility on the fly. Um, in a lot of cases we were seeing some very real-time requirements pop up from our customers where, uh, hey, instead of two drives, it really needs to be four drives, or, uh, you know, I'd really like to figure out how to accommodate hot plug drives and you know, I don't want to totally destroy my density, but I'd like to, you know, where needed, um, make those trade-offs. And so a, a lot of that consideration uh, took us to this kind of concept, which again, very similar to Scorpion for the DCS side, uh, in that it was a 4U based on vertical sleds. Uh, the main difference, frankly, is uh, with Zeus and, and for the PowerHC crowd, we need to be a little more sensitive on the depth and contain that depth into the 30, 32 uh, inch range. So the way we addressed uh, all those items was um, first and foremost, we if, if you're interested in compute with a relatively minimal direct attached storage configuration, we can fill this box up with uh, single wide compute sleds. Now depending on how much power you have, uh, and, and, and what kind of redundancy you have, whether you have one power sled or two, we can have uh, either nine or eight of these single wide compute sleds in a 4U. So uh, again, uh, right there in terms of density with our other products, our 4 node, 2U, etc. Uh, so the density is there and uh, the ability again to leverage customer, all the, the power that the customer can deliver to the rack is, uh, is, is addressed by this this chassis, this platform. The other issue that I mentioned was uh, the uh, shared infrastructure. So, as I mentioned, we have a shared power sled, and this power sled, whether it's one or whether it's a second one for redundancy, um, can provide the power for all of the sleds that, uh, that can go in uh, next to these power sleds. And then on the back side, we have fans that are shared, again, shared cooling. And you can see we have three sets of, of fans. There are, there are actually two uh, coaxial fans in each of these threes for a total of six. And we have redundancy to handle uh, just about any configuration that uh, you could put in this box. So that's the shared infrastructure concept. Finally, I should say on a shared infrastructure, uh, we have a consolidation point either on the back or on the front on the mounting ear where you can consolidate all of your 10 100 Ethernet uh, LAN management links. So that was uh, point two about shared infrastructure. And point three, which was from a flexibility standpoint, how do you give me flexibility based on the configuration needs I have? 
And so very simply, we have a franchise of sleds. Whether it's a single-wide compute sled, whether it's a double-wide compute sled where we add hot plug two and a half inch drives, uh, additional spots for either three and a half or two, two and a half inch drives uh, in a double-wide type of compute sled, or if you ultimately need your data drives on hot plug, we even have a hot plug double-wide sled where uh, we can, through the right kind of LEDs, direct you to a failed drive and you can replace that on the fly while everything else uh, in this sled continues to work. So because you can mix and match those sleds, that's how we provide flexibility to our customers. And again, that's, flexibility is one of the key tenets of this architecture.